say that this is the day that the Lord had made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Amen. This is our call to worship. And to all the mothers, happy Mother's Day. Amen. Well, good morning. Good morning. We're going to hold, hold to his hand this morning. We're going to hold to it. Can you hold to it? All right.
to be in the house of the Lord on another Mother's Day. And I want to also send out a special thanks to good mothers. Every mother's not the same, but uh, we have some good mothers. And he said, why are mothers special to God? A mother is Christ-like, and a mother would lay down her life for her children. A mother spends hours on her knees praying for her children. She is ready to make sacrifices for them. Her precious love demonstrates the love Jesus Christ has for mankind. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for letting us see another Mother's Day. Thank you for our mothers. We know that they've shaped us and many times made us to who we are today. Have mercy on those that have lost their mothers, but we hadn't lost the love that they shared, nor the memories and the wisdom that they shared with us. Continue to bless those that have children and are raising them, those that have done their job and raised good children and spiritual uh, sons and daughters. Lord, uh, continue to bless the service that we have in today. Bless the word that's going to be preached today. Lord, feed our spirits this morning. We are in need of a word from the Lord. Lord, have mercy not only on this church, but every church that's open in your name. Have mercy on our leaders in the city, the state, and the country. Have mercy on us, Lord. Build us up where we're weak. Strengthen us where we're torn down. Build us up. Help us, Lord. We need you now more than ever. Continue to lead and guide us in the path of righteousness. Lord, when we're done on this earth and done all we can, we want you to, see, we want to hear from you. Well done, good and faithful servant. We ask this in the mighty, marvelous name of Jesus. His name we pray. Amen.
Well, good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Ray Robinson, Jr. <laughs> really. <laughs> and first of all, I just want to thank everyone for coming this morning and celebrating with us in our 2023 Mother's Day Sunday. We're just delighted to have everyone here today. And if you are here today, we thank you for choosing Morningstar. If you're in the social media world, on Facebook Live, we're asking everyone to just put a thumbs up in that chat box. Put a heart in that chat box. Not only that, share this broadcast with your Facebook friends so we can double our numbers for today, okay? And if you are here today, visiting with a loved one, family, we're asking if at this time, please stand at this time. If you are visiting with, with us today, thank you, sir. All right. Amen. All right. Now, some of us are no strangers, but I ain't going to get name calling. I'm just going to say thank you for choosing Morningstar as your place of worship for this morning. We just thank you for coming from far and near, wherever you come from. We just thank you for choosing Morningstar. And if you are out without a church home this morning, we're praying that you will unite here with us here at Morningstar. I think they used to say back in the day, we're just God's little people on our way home. <laughs> and I'm just going to piggyback on Dr. McNair this morning that a mother is a friend who's with you till the end. Amen. No one on earth like her you will find. Whatever trouble may be, mother's always going to be there for her child because a mother loves her children all the time. We just thank you for coming. If your mother is alive, call her. Go visit her. If you're at odds, make it right. Because when mama's gone, you can't call her no more. You can't talk to her no more. So make that right today. And if she's in heaven, tell her. Tell Jesus hello. Pray that you have a blessed week, a blessed day. And please, love somebody today and tell somebody you love them. Thank you for coming. You all have a blessed day in the Lord. I know you've been so good. But Lord, I know you've been so good. You watch over me all night long. And Lord, I know you've been so good. And Lord, I know you've been so good. And Lord, I know you've been so good. Over me all night long, Lord. I know you've been so good, Lord. I've done wrong in my life, and sometimes I've even sinned. But Lord, I want to thank you for waking me this morning. Enable me to kneel and pray again. I could have been dead, sleeping in my bed. Oh, death behavior made him go away. You've been good. You've been good. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, you have. You've been good. You've been good. Oh, yes, you have. Lord, I know you spared my life. Lord, I know you spared my life. I could have been dead. I could have been dead. Sleeping in my grave. Lord, I know you spared my life. Jesus, you've been my mother. And Lord, you've been my father too. Of all the troubles and trials I've had in my life Without you, Lord, I don't know what I would do But while I got my hands in the whirling chain Oh, every day of my life I'm trusting in your name You've been good You've been good Oh, yes, you have You've been good You've been good You've been good Oh, mighty good You've been good you Yes, you have. You've been good. Has he been good? You've been good. He's been mighty good. You've been good. Oh, so good. You've been good. Oh, yes, you have. So good. Been good. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, you've been mighty good. You've been good thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. You've been mighty good. You've been good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. You've been good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. You've been mighty good. You've been good. Oh, thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. You've been so good. You've been good. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, so good. You've been good. Oh, Eternal and everlasting God, Master, we pause once again just to tell you thank you, God. Thank you, God, that last night's rest wasn't our final rest. But, oh, God, early this morning, you touched us with a finger of love and allowed us to see a day like none other we've seen before. God, we thank you on this special day as we share our love to our mothers, oh God, those who fed us and those who cared for us. And oh God, we come now, oh God, to center around your word, oh God. Speak a word this morning, God. We need a word from heaven right now, oh God. We can't do this without you, oh Lord. Oh God, have your will and your way in our lives this morning. God, some come for this reason, some come from, but oh God, we all come because we need you, oh God. We cannot get along without you. God, let your word go forth. And I have it on good authority that you will not allow it to return un un unfulfilled, oh God, for it shall fulfill all 
that you set it forth to do, O oh God. And Father, we'll be faithful to give your name glory, to give your name praise. For it is in the name of he that is able. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen and amen. of our mother's faith. <laughs> We're here today because somebody took the time to tell us about God's uh, amazing grace. You know one thing I learned about the Lord? It doesn't matter where you've been, how long you've been there, how wrong you've been, He still will receive you just as you are. And I'm thankful that I had a mother to tell me about God's grace. And I declare to you, his grace is unchanging. <laughs> He's the same yesterday, the same today, and will be on tomorrow. Thank God for God's amazing, amazing grace. How, mm, how precious, precious be. That grace Thee Thee how I First I first believe invite your attention this morning to a familiar passage of scripture uh, found in the gospel of Matthew chapter 15. I want to read verses 21 down through verse 28. Again, Matthew chapter 15 uh, verses 21 through 28. I'm reading from the modern English version, but you're welcome to read along in whatever translation you may have. Then Jesus went from there and departed into the regions of Tyre and Sidon. There a woman of Canaan came out of the same region and cried out to him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. 
my daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, send her away, for she cries out after us. But he answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And then she came and worshiped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered, it's not fair to take the children's bread and to throw it to the dogs. She said, yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And then Jesus answered her, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Amen. Thus in the reading, you may be seated in his presence. The grass withered and the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. I want to talk this morning about a mother's great faith. A mother's great faith. I've pondered uh, all week and uh, the week before about uh, the sermon for today and, and, uh, and all through this week it was labored in my mind and my spirit, uh, this particular text. And, and, uh, and I, I told the Lord, <laughs> I said, Lord, I didn't preach this text before and, and, and I preached this text on Mother's Day before. And I, uh, it was in, in the Gospel of uh, Mark that I used before. And, uh, and, and Monday, it, it kept on coming back to this text. And Tuesday, I was here, and it kept, kept on coming back to this text. And, and all week long, this text just keeps ringing in my heart. And so if you keep in a pointer of where I preached on Mother's Day, I, I come in agreement. I have preached from this text before. But I believe that God has a revelation for us even on today. The Bible speaks of uh, Jesus' uh, cadence as he walks through the areas of Galilee. And Jesus uh, had ministered to the people and uh, Jesus had sought that they may see him as the son of the true living God. That ultimately that they would see him as the Messiah, the one that God had promised. And, and yet the more he tried to reveal this to them, the more skeptical they became of him, the more they did not believe on him. Yet they all wanted to see his miracles. And Jesus, the Bible says, he fed some 5,000 men plus women and children. And, and he did this so that the Jews might believe. And the Bible says even after feeding them uh, off of two loaves and barley fish and, and the text says that that even after that there were what 12 baskets full of leftovers and right. the text says the text says that that on another occasion uh, and it, you find this in Matthew where he fed another 4,000 people and, and, and some would suggest why would he mention both of them 5,000 over here and 4,000 over here? Is it the same people or they just retold the story differently? I want to suggest y'all, he did one time closer to the children of Israel so they can appreciate it. But he went on the outskirts of town, the region leading into the Galilee. He did that the second time so that others who may not know of him, yes, may sir. not have heard of them, yes, may sir. come to know him as Lord and Savior. Yes, sir. He went out to, to the area uh, and, and, and just perhaps uh, hearing what he did over there, uh, the Bible says that, that, that Jesus left there and, and headed for a place of relaxation. And he going to a place where he thought nobody would know him and nobody would suspect him. And, and, and it seems as if he found it at ease because nobody was bothering him there. And then this woman shows up. And I want to argue, my brothers and sisters, sometimes when you need rest, 
the most. That's when your phone starts ringing. That, that's when the door starts knocking. And you want to tell them, I don't have time right now. But that's when God needs you to yeah. The Bible says that this woman shows up and he doesn't call her up by her name. He doesn't tell us who her family is. All he tells us, uh, and Mark lifts it up, is that she's a Greek Syrophoenician woman. She's of Tyre uh, and of Sidian. She, she was a Canaanite. The text says that, uh, and the reason why the text lifts up that whole idea, that was this issue between the Jews and the Canaanites. Uh, matter of fact, when Joshua was going over to take the land, God spoke to Joshua, Joshua and tells him to destroy them because he recognized what would ultimately happen later down the road. And, uh, uh, and that was this, this almost hatred between the Jews and the Canaanites, uh, uh, partly because they were embryos. They, 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 they allowed themselves to be uh, connected with the Gentile community, and, and they were not authentic. Yep. Yeah. Right. Right. And, uh, and, and the text says that that, that she came, and, 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 and it wasn't enough that she was a Canaanite. She was from the wrong place. But, but the text says the other issue was that she was a woman. What did she have to do with Jesus? How is it that she broken all kinds of protocols to come to Jesus? But I want to suggest, y'all, that she comes to Jesus, number one, because she was a desperate woman. And when you are desperate, you will break all kinds of protocol. When you are desperate, you will do whatever it takes to meet the needs of your children. The Bible, the Bible says that she, she comes to Jesus. She breaks the protocol because, number one, she's desperate. She's desperate because of everything that she may have tried to do for her child, but if nothing she did would seem to work. And I would argue, my brothers and sisters, sometimes life can put you in some desperate circumstances. Sometimes life itself can drop you into some desperate situations, and desperate situations calls for some desperate action. And the Bible says that she goes to Jesus and, and she cries out to him. And the Bible says, she says, have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. The text says that, that, that she she, 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 she demonstrates her desperation and she tells Jesus all about her situation. And, and I, wanna, I wanna suggest y'all that uh, not only does it speak of her desperation, but it speaks secondly of her desire. For she goes to Jesus, and, and this, this, this is what I want you to get on Mother's Day y'all, is that you ought to make up in your mind that when you call upon the Lord, there ought to be some specifics that you need for him. Listen, don't be trying to call out all of these other things and dressing up your prayer. Listen, sometimes you need to say, Lord, help me right now. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of what I've got myself in. But Lord, I need your help. And I need your help right now. My brothers and sisters, she, she right. declares uh, her petition. She, she petitions Jesus Christ. And, and listen, and I want to argue y'all again that she wasn't noted to be able to do that because of, uh, uh, of her status and uh, her, her, her issue of being a woman, her issue of being a Canaanite. She should have not had any position in the presence of God. But oh, when I, when I argue, when you are desperate... Listen, my brothers and sisters, she, she expresses her, her petition. She says, have mercy on me. Yeah. And, and notice here, y'all, she doesn't immediately ask him of anything other than mercy. Yeah. And I want to argue, my brothers and sisters, when we woke up this morning, that's all to be the first thing we ask God for yeah. is for your mercy. Because the truth be told, we've done enough yesterday yeah. to disqualify us in the presence of the Lord. But thanks be to God that his mercy is new every morning. Listen, the Bible says that, that she, she possessed to him, she petitions uh, his, 
his mercy. And, and I declare, y'all, that, that mercy suits our case. And the Bible says that, that, that uh, not only does she petition him, uh, but, but she perceives something about him. And I want to suggest, my brothers and sisters, uh, that, that, that if you listen to what she says and how she says, I, I perceive that she heard something about Jesus. Yes, sir. Y'all, y'all, I, I, I do remember it was blind Bartimaeus on the road uh, of Jericho and, and, and listen, and all that was around him, and yet he cried out, Son of David, have mercy on me. Not his condition. He says, just, Lord, just have mercy on me. Yeah. David in his conversation with God and even Saul on his tail, the Bible said David cries out, God, have mercy yeah. on me. And listen, I, I don't know about you, but 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 I'm thankful for blind Bartimaeus. I, I'm thankful for David. But every now and then, I have to cry out for myself. Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Have mercy on me. Riding in my car on my way to work. Lord, have mercy on me. And sometimes thinking about my children and what they're going through and what they've been through. Lord, Have mercy. And then, y'all, listen, this ain't in the sermon, y'all, but every now and then, Satan will mess with your mind and show you what you used to be and where you used to go and who you used to hang out with. And all you can say is, Lord. I know, I know, I know y'all, that don't make sense to you all because y'all ain't never did anything. But, but if, if somebody in the house that ever done something and you know you don't deserve to be where you are right now, Lord, have mercy. But listen, my brothers and sisters, he, she not only makes her petition, she not only makes her, uh, yeah, 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 this idea of her perception of who he is uh, because she, she calls him Lord. My brothers and sisters, I want to suggest that she couldn't have known him as Lord because this is her first encounter with him. Uh, but, 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 but listen, my brothers and sisters, when you stand in need, you'll go against all the other stuff. I, 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 know, I know I'm not a Jewish Jew, but I, I don't know much about Moses. I don't know much about Abraham. I, I, I heard about Isaac and I, I heard about Jacob, but I, I don't know all about that. But what I do know, I know that could nobody do what you did except you be Lord. The Bible says she, she, she cries out, Lord, have mercy. But then it's, he, she deals with her problem. And I'm on my way to my seat when I tell you, y'all, the text says that she says that my, my daughter uh, mm, is, is sick. She, she's not herself. And, and she says that, that I perceive that she's possessed by a demon. And I, I want to suggest, y'all, uh, that she knew what she raised her child to be, but her child wasn't acting like she raised her to be. And my brothers and sisters, every now and again, we all got children Amen. that don't act like we raised them to be. Yeah. Sometimes they get in their own rut, in their own way. And, and listen, and we don't even have to look at our children. We can look at ourselves and recognize we ain't always done what we've been raised to do. Yes, sir. Listen, I, and, and every now and then we're reminded what we're raised to do. I, I was in the grocery store yesterday, and I was picking up some stuff. My son had decided he was going to cook mom dinner, uh, but he sent me to the grocery store uh, to spend my money to pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but I, I went to the grocery store, and, and there was three ladies in the grocery store, and, uh, and they were trying to pick out something. And, uh, and, and if you would allow me to, to see it like I saw it, but that was big mama, that was grandmama, and then that was the mama. <laughs> And, 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 and Big Mama was looking through the stuff, and, and, and the children was trying to rush her through it. Say, Mama, well, that's what you want, right? You, you said you want this. And she said, yeah, but that ain't it. <laughs> and she kept on looking. She go, I said, wait a minute, y'all. I, I, I didn't even know these folk, y'all. We were flow. I didn't even know who these folk were. And, and I said, y'all, uh, when I was a child, I used to go to the grocery store for my grandmother, and she would give us a list 
of what to get. And, and, and all that stuff made sense. But she'll put next to the list, I want Del Marty. Uh, I, I, I want this kind of, and, and, and listen, and if you didn't bring the brand that she told you to bring, she was going to send you back to the store and get what she told you to get the first time. I said, y'all, grandmama, she knows what she wants, but she has a specific idea of what kind of stuff she wants. I said, let her take her time, y'all. And listen, what I'm trying to tell y'all, when you call on the Lord, just don't call him for any kind of stuff. Yeah. But you ought to be specific about what you want God to do in your life. Yeah. She says, my child has a demon. She, she don't act like I raised to the beast. She doesn't do the things that, and, and, and listen, y'all, it became a problem for this mother. And so she, she recognized her desperation. She recognized her desire. But the, but the Bible says she showed some determination for she went to Jesus. Even at a time when Jesus was trying to find some relaxation for himself. And listen, my brothers and sisters, I want to argue that, that in determination, it will cause you to do some things. And I would argue, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says that, 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 that when she goes to Jesus, she tells Jesus her problem. But, but, but listen, look at verse 22. He says, but he did not answer her a word. And, and y'all, y'all, this doesn't mean anything to the average reader. But if you ever read the Bible, whenever somebody came to Jesus, Jesus always had a word for them. And, and not only that, he would oftentimes go where they need him to see about them. He will show up at their house and those that are unbelievers, he will put them out. But the Bible says Jesus never said a mummy word. Amen. And I would argue, how do you handle your Lord when he doesn't say nothing? What do you do when you pray and ask God uh, to heal, to deliver, to set free, and God doesn't say nothing? Yeah. And I would argue, my brothers and sisters, if you live long enough, you have some circumstances where you petition God, and he doesn't deny you, he just doesn't say anything. Yeah. And listen, that's the good news, y'all, is that he doesn't say no, but he doesn't say anything at all. And what do you do when God isn't saying anything? Yeah. And I want to argue, you ought to trust God anyway. Listen, he may not have come yet, but I do know what I know about God. He will show up. Yeah. And I would argue, I would argue, my brothers and sisters, I know, I know we believe as Christians that he's going to always do. But listen, sometimes, y'all, God doesn't say a word. And listen, my brother, sister, he, he pauses with her. And, and the text says something some strange happens is that as he is in a pause, as he does not respond, his disciples respond. They say, Lord, send her away. For she is worrying us. She cries out after us. Literally what she does, y'all, Jesus is trying to get to his place where he can relax and, and rejuvenate himself, and yet everywhere he goes, she's right behind him. Amen. Solomon, Lord, have mercy on me. But listen, y'all, can I, can I make this thing a little clear? She's not whispering. She's not whippering. She's crying out with the loud of her voice, Lord, have mercy on me. And I want to argue, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says that disciples cried out, send her away. You remember, this is not the first time the disciples sent him away. For, for, for Jairus had come and, and asked about his daughter. And, and, and the Bible says that he cried. He cries out to Jesus. And, 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 and the Bible says that the disciple says, send them away. The Bible says that when he was about to feed the 5,000, it was evening time. And they were all there. And they had no time to leave. And Jesus uh, speaks to his disciples, and what does the disciples say? Send them away now. Yeah. For if they leave now, they can find food in their own places. Listen, right. my brothers and sisters, there's always folk around who want to send folk away. Yeah. They don't have time for you. They don't want to deal with you. Listen, listen, and, and, and yet Jesus did not respond, and yet all she hears is their response. Send her 
Yes. But oh, my brothers and sisters, I'm so glad that we serve a God yes. that's patient with us. And listen, I'm so thankful for mamas who know the love and the power of God to know that sometimes you got to wait on the Lord. Uh, listen, and you can't wait like you ticked off on God. You can't wait like you mad with God. You got to wait and be of good courage. Wait, I say, uh, on the Lord. Uh, listen, my brother, sister, sometimes he doesn't always come when you want him to, but I, I declare to you, he's always right on time. I want to suggest to you, my brother and sister, that she was desperate. Uh, and uh, the text says that with desperation, it calls us for a powerful inspiration. I want to suggest, y'all, that she makes her way to Jesus. And, and Jesus doesn't say a way, but Jesus finally speaks. And he says that I've come not for you, but I've come for the household of Israel. I've come for the lost sheep. Uh, that they might be saved. I, 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 I want you to know that I hear you, but my priority is to them first. And, and, and what Jesus says is, not that I won't help you, but my priority yeah. is to them first. Yes. And I would argue, my brother and sister, priority can mess you up sometimes. This year, I, I, I didn't get my wife's permission to say this, but uh, uh, we'll, we'll just talk on the way home. But uh, I, 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 a couple of months ago, uh, we were at the doctor's office, and my son became ill, and, and, and uh, it scared us uh, really bad. And, uh, and, and the doctor uh, immediately called for the paramedics, and they, they rushed him to the hospital. And, uh, and, 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 and we were to drive to the hospital, uh, and we got to the hospital, uh, uh, and we asked for him in the emergency room, and, and, and they said that he was not there. And, uh, and we said, no, we know that this is where they took him. And, and look and behold, my wife found our son not in the emergency room, but in the waiting room. <laughs> and, uh, 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 and, and so I walked in, and, and I saw them sitting there, and I said, why in the world? Is he in the waiting room and not in, and, 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 and she said that he told her that there was no more rooms in the emergency room. And so they sat in here and, uh, and, 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 and the father in me became beside myself. And, uh, and I said, he's too sick to be sitting right here. And, and then he began to go into another episode. And by that time, we called for help. And this nurse showed up. And, 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 and we told her, she, he needs to be seen. And he needs to be seen right now. Yeah. And she said, but, but I, I hear you, but he's not a priority. He says that there's some folk that are sicker than he is. I said, but, but listen. This man can't hardly breathe sitting right here. You mean to tell me that? Now, now you do know now. A parent, when a parent get upset, you know, it's a, and, 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 and I'm going to say, say this, y'all. My wife is saved, sanctified, full of the Holy Ghost. And, and this nurse kept on talking and belittling us and, and acting as if we didn't know what we were talking about. And my wife set out her purse. <laughs> My, my daughter said she's about to get them hands by that time. And, and, and my, I'm telling you, my wife is a saved woman, but when she started messing with her child, there, there's something about a mama and her children that, that whatever it takes when you're desperate enough, you're going to do it. whatever it takes. And listen, I, I declare y'all, this is true. It wasn't five minutes later. They came out and rolled him on back in that room. And listen, listen. And we just thank the Lord for But I want to argue, y'all, sometimes somebody else's priority ain't your priority. And when you can't get to them, you need to call on he that is able to get to you. Listen, the text says, text says that, that, that she, she heard what Jesus says. And, 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 and Jesus says that I came for the household, but, but the Bible says all of a sudden she does something that blows Jesus away. And I wish I could do like she did that day. The Bible said she fell down on her knees. My brother and sister, I want to argue 
when you in a desperate situation, Amen. it'll make you do some desperate Amen. things. Listen, she, in all of who she was, she recognized the only person that could help her right now was Jesus. And she fell down at his feet. And all oh, my brothers and sisters, I would argue sometimes we don't get our breakthrough because we're too prideful to fall down on our knees. We're too prideful, exalted, that we don't recognize the power of he that stands right in our presence. The Bible says that she, she bowed down to him. And, and, and the text says that when Jesus sees that, it gets his attention because all the other places that he went, nobody bowed down. <laughs> All the others that he healed. Yeah. Listen, he hadn't even healed her yet. But, but even in she knew that he was able yeah. to do it. Yeah. She yes, bows sir. before him. Yes, and, and, and listen, y'all, and, and, and notice how he responded. The Bible says that she bows down and she says, Lord, help me. <laughs> listen. Not all those other words, not the son of David, not have mercy. Lord, help me. Not my mother, not my brother, not my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, that stands in the. Listen, she bows down, and it gets Jesus. It takes Jesus out of his gate. Jesus says unto her, It is not fair that we take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. And, and I know you've heard and seen that many times in, in Sunday school, but can I unpack that for you for just a minute? Yo, in that day and time, uh, they didn't, when they sat down at a meal, they didn't have knife and forks and utensils and they didn't have those nice pretty napkins like you're gonna lay out for mama today at dinner. Uh, they didn't have any of that. Most of the time, they ate with their hands. And to clean their hands, they would take the bread and wipe the excess juices in the bread. And after the bread had been soaked up, y'all do know what soaking bread up is. Uh, you, 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 you know what it is to have a meal and then take that bread and go around to help me somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was that kind of bread, y'all. It had been soaked up. And they would take the bread and then fold the bread to the dogs. Now listen, y'all, these were not scavenger dogs. These were not Great Danes and, 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 and German shepherds, but these were, yeah, help me somebody. Yeah, these, these were little small poodles, if you would, small puppies, if you would, and, and, and they would feed these dogs the bread, the crumbs that fell off the table. And so when Jesus says unto her that I cannot take the meat for the children, and give it to the dog. He was not necessarily throwing disparaging uh, ideas about her. What he was simply saying is that who I came for is for the children first, and then you can have the leftovers. Yeah. And, and listen, my brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but I would rather have Jesus' leftovers any day yeah. than the best of prime rib that can all. If it's been in the hands of if Jesus had had anything to do with it, now y'all know I don't like leftovers, but if Jesus gave some leftovers, I, 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 I'm along with The Bible said, he says unto her that, 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 that this is meant for, for, for the dogs. This is meant for the, for the puppies if, if the access was to be exposed. And, and, and notice how she responded. She says, that's all right, sir, but even the dogs eat the crumbs. From the she said, Master, I don't expect you to make me the main course, but just give me your leftovers. Lord, I don't want to be the biggest thing in the bus, but Lord, just if you can find some way to use me in your program, God can use you. Yeah. Listen, the Bible right. says, he says unto her, uh, that, that, that she, she proclaims to him that even the dogs eat the fruit that falls from the table. And the Bible says that he looks at this woman and he says, there is none, no other that has greater faith than you. You have, you have outspawned them all. I've never seen it happen before. 
of the faith that you had in me. And the Bible said, he says unto her, because of your faith, count it done. It's already, listen, the Bible says instantly her child was healed. And, and, and listen, y'all, I, I, I want to suggest this, y'all, is that sometimes, y'all, we be asking God for stuff. We've been praying to God. And, and listen, and sometimes God does it instantaneously. Sometimes it's a process. Uh, but God is faithful to do all that he declared he would do. The, 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 the text says that that thing that you ask for, God sometimes will give you more than, the Bible even says that when she, this is in the Gospel of Mark, uh, that when she got home, Jesus didn't even have to go there. He spoke the word and it, it was done. And when she got home, the Bible said that the child was up all right and in her right mind. Listen, y'all, listen, y'all, sometimes you just got to thank God for the Amen. blessing. <laughs> and, 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 and listen, y'all, sometimes God will do more than what you asked him for. Yes. I, I, I remember some years ago, and I'll tell you this story, and I promise you I'm going, is that there, uh, there was a friend of uh, Paulette, the co-workers, and, and, uh, and she asked Paulette to pray for her, um, her, her family. Her family had been going to church, and, and, uh, and, and, and she wanted her husband to go, uh, but, but he never would go to church with them. And she said, uh, Paul, I want you to be praying for, for him. And, and, uh, and, and, and they prayed for a while and nothing happened. She said, well, Paul, this is what I want you to do. I want you to ask John uh, to pray for him and, and, and see. And, 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 and before you know it, the, uh, the son was complaining that he had to go to church, but daddy wouldn't go to church. And all of a sudden, one Sunday morning, they were getting ready to church uh, and halfway out the door uh, and the husband said, y'all wait a minute. And the husband came out dressed and ready to go to church. Uh, listen, the, that thing that they had prayed for had come to happen and he went to church with them early Sunday morning. And, 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 and that same Sunday, he gave his life to Jesus Christ. Uh, he, he was saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, he joined that church and got excited. And, and then the next Sunday, he woke up and said, we're going to church. And, and, and for five or six Sundays in a row, they got up and went to church. And, and this same girl came to Paulette and said, now, I asked the Lord <laughs> to have him to go to church. And now that Negro want to go to church every Sunday. <laughs> uh, we don't go to church right here every Sunday. But, but he'd been waking us up. Uh, but not only that, but uh, the, the church had two services. Uh, she, he wanted to go to both services, 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock. And, 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 and it got so good to him, uh, the fellow said, well, wait a minute, y'all. Uh, 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 they have Bible study at church. Uh, and this Wednesday, we going to Bible study. Everybody going to Bible study. And, and, and listen, and one night uh, after one of the Bible studies, the, the pastor approached the, the young man and he said, son, I, I've been looking at you and you, you committed yourself and you're here when the church meets in need. He says, would you consider being a deacon? And, 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 and he went home and told his wife that, that now they want me to be a deacon. And, and she said, wait a minute, y'all. I, I just wanted the Negro to go to church. And now he's taking over. Listen, God will do more than you ask him to do. All you got to do is to give it to him and let him work it to your good. But oh, my brothers and sisters, I promise you, when God does it, you ought to give him praise for it. You ought to rejoice for the things that the Lord has done. Listen, there's a mama here this morning. You remember the time when you were just trying to put nickels together, but God brought it together for you. You were able to send your child to college. You were able to see him walk across the aisle. Thanks be to God for, for keeping him. When, when, when the devil tried to snuff their life out, you prayed for them them and God heard your prayers. Listen, it's a time to thank God for all he's done. And listen, my brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but I look back over my own life 
And every now and then, I thank the Lord yes, for all he's done. Yes. Listen, I don't know about you, but I looked over and I can see what the Lord has done. When I receive my children riding and going to and fro, I say, God, nobody but you could have done a thing like this. There are some mothers that ought to rejoice this morning because you've seen him do it in your life. But listen, my brothers and sisters, I'm so thankful that God himself recognized that we were children undone. We were children that were separated from him. And he sent his only begotten son. The Bible says he came some 40 and two generations. But he lived uh, on our behalf that he may show us the way back unto God. But the word says on one Friday evening, he died for your sins and my sins. He died, y'all, that the sun refused to shine. He died, I come to tell you, that even the soldier said, this must be, this got to be the son of God. But I have it on good authority, y'all. Early the third day morning, he rose from the grave with all power of heaven and earth in his hands. And I declare to you, if you dare believe him, if you dare trust him, he'll make your life brand new. And I declare to you, my brothers and sisters, the Bible says he sits now at the right hand of the Father. And he's making intercessions on your behalf. And I want to suggest to you, you don't have to go nowhere to fix it up. You don't have to go and, and stay some five days. Listen, just as you are, right where you are, God will meet you where you are. And he will intercede on your behalf. But listen, he won't force it. You got to take it. You got to give it to him yourself. And sometimes there's some desperate situations that calls for us to go before the Lord. Won't you trust him? Won't you believe him? Won't you watch him make your life brand new? God, our Father, we come in the name of Jesus. We love you. We thank you. We honor you with the first fruits of our lips. Speak, oh God, in the midst of this invitation. Draw men and women, boys and girls unto yourself. And God will be faithful to give you glory, to give you honor, and to give you praise. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The door of the church is open. I invite you to come. The letter, Christian experience, candidate for baptism. Just as you are, won't you, won't you meet him? You go one step. God will go all the way with you. Won't you trust him today? This invitation is extended to you. Won't you come? In the name of Jesus. See so much, see so much what the Lord, what the Lord has, has done, for done for me. I can see, see so much, so much, see so oh, much what, the Lord what my God has, has done. For me. See so much, see so much, but oh, my God has done for me. You know He brought me, yes, He brought me from a mighty long way. Oh, a mighty long way. Oh, I can see so much, so much, see so much, what the Lord has done for me. I can see so much, so much. So oh, much Lord, what yeah. my God has, has done for me. me. I can see, see so much, so much, see so much what the Lord has done for me. Oh, you know He brought me oh, a, 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 a mighty, a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. Ooh, every, 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 every night. Every now and then, my soul, soul looks back. Looks back and wonders. Soul looks back. Oh, oh my Lord, God, what no he done for me. Road. How Jesus, how he brought me. How Jesus brought me. How he brought through me. Through many dangers. Through many Tall dangers, sports and snares. You know my soul, my soul. Looks back and wonder. Oh, yes, oh, what the Lord what has the Lord done has for me. So much, see so much, and what the Lord, what the Lord has, has done for me. me. Oh, I can I see, see so much, so much. Oh, oh what the Lord, Lord yeah, has done.
love for me. I can see, see so much, so much, see so much oh, what the Lord, what the Lord has done for me. Oh, you know he brought me, yes, he mighty, brought me a mighty long way, a mighty long way. Sometimes, 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 my way, my way gets dark, my way gets dark, my road, oh my road, it gets rough. It's rough, and I can't, I can't find a peace anywhere. I call, I call on Jesus. I call Jesus. I call on Jesus. For I know, I know He'll answer my prayer. You know my soul. Oh, Look back and wonder. Oh, yeah. oh what the Lord, the has, Lord done has done for me. Oh, I can see, see so much, so much. See so much. Oh, what the Lord. What Of me. Yeah, you know he brought me yes, from a mighty, a mighty, a mighty long way, a mighty long way. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I, I don't know about you, but he done brought me from a mighty, mighty long way. Hallelujah. And listen, I'm here because of mama who prayed for me. And I know that I'm not alone in that time. Thank God for Mama's prayers, and and, uh, and, uh, and can I add? I know this Mother's Day, but thank God for Daddy's prayers too, <laughs> and then that they keep us, kept us before the Lord. And I pray that uh, first of all, I wish each of you mothers a happy, happy Mother's Day. And, and I recognize not every woman has birthed a child, but oh, you've been blessing to so many children. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness and. And I pray that God will show a ray of sunshine in your life. And if your mother is no longer here, listen, this might be a good day to share with another mother uh, just how good God has been. And, uh, and I pray uh, that you will have a blessed day and God will shine, shine, shine on you. But it, whatever you do, don't forget to remember all that the Lord has done for you. God, our Father, we come in Jesus' name. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. We honor you with the first fruits of our lips. And, oh, God, no matter what we're going through, Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, help me in my time of desperation. And, oh, God, I, I made up my mind that come hell or high water, I'm going to go all the way with you, oh God. Master, do it in a mighty way, oh God. Bless those who've come today, oh God, and somebody may not have made a decision for you, but oh God, even on this Mother's Day, I pray, oh God, that you will speak to their hearts and they will recognize the voice of your calling upon them. Oh God, minister to them today, oh God. Give us peace and prosperity as we move from this place to the places of our abode, O oh God. We ask that you would bless us indeed. Enlarge our territory. I pray your hand be with us. We ask that you keep us from sin and evil, that we may not cause pain. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said amen. 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 And amen. Who in his presence on today.